What is it, honey? There's someone here. I'm Paul. We're gonna make a bet now. You bet that you'll be alive tomorrow at 9 o'clock, and we bet that you'll be dead. It, it's a really difficult movie to describe. It's, 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 um, I guess it's a thriller. Um, it's uh, by Michael Hanukkah, Naomi Watts, Tim Roth are in it. You think they stand a chance? You're on their side, aren't you? Who are you betting on, hmm? You know, with, with funny games, I, th I think that there is comedy in it. When I first saw the film, I felt like he was making a comment on America and um, violence in films. You know, I think that can be dangerous territory if, uh, if it's not done well. That being said, it, it's a, a really good film and it, it deals with it in a, in a good way. So the violence that's shown is not, uh, um, I don't think, shown in a way uh, to, to, to please or entertain you. It, it's shown in a way to make you think. So I think it, it succeeds in that. Mr. Farber. What? The, the take that I took on the, on the character was, was one of, um, I knew that if I kept him as lighthearted and as positive and clean cut and straight, that he would, you know, read uh, psychotic. You want to call someone? An ambulance or, or the police? Why are you doing this? Working with Tim, I, I really looked up to him as, a, as an actor. So to be working with him was, was a trip. And Naomi, she's also a producer on the film. And the way that she was able to deal with problems on set and then act in a, a really difficult scene was pretty impressive. Can be safe all through the night, please? This film was actually great because it was, it was shot in, um, in the studios in Brooklyn. It was amazing to be in New York working, not be in Hollywood, but still be able to shoot on a sound stage. And I think New York is probably will always be my home, even if I, uh, you know, live somewhere else for some time. The biggest attraction I think to the to the project was definitely Michael, uh, the director, because I wasn't considering working on a film at, at, at the time. But when I met him, I could tell that if if I listened to him and I did what he asked, uh, that he'd make me a better actor. And working for him is pretty intense. He demands a lot more from his actors, I think, than the majority of directors, but that's also why people love working with him, you know? Um, Which do you prefer? The little knife or the big gun? What's the housewife's choice? I enjoy doing is taking risks, you know? It, it seems like it's just more interesting to make something you haven't seen a lot. And, you know, as an actor, I think you, you just got to take those when they come, because they don't come that often. You shouldn't have done that, Anne.